apparently is worth another elect uh, legendary loot crate. And there's a rotational speed controller. Now that, um, instead of dividing, instead of calculating ratios, you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can actually set the speed manually. Like this. So this is how how they're um, this is how they're used. There's like an input, and you can you have to speed up that way. So let me see if I can actually get this thing to work. It sounds much more well fascinating. Take this thing out. Actually, no. I think I'm going to need the uh, the big gear there. Some shafts. So there's the gear, and I think you put it in this way. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. And then, if I put some shafts out here, see how... Ah. And I can slow it down, too. How fast was it this time? 16. Yeah, here we go. And that gives you another legendary... Um, oh, this is a precision mechanism. This requires a whole assembly line. Yeah, there are a... Um, there's like a set of deployers, I guess. You, you you take a golden sheet and you start putting stuff on it. You can't do it manually like you can with um, with the casings. Instead, what you end up doing is automating it a little, placing it on, I think, a conveyor belt, and then adding these deployers. And you might get a precision mechanism, or you might get random salvage. I mean, yeah, the odds are good that you'll get the precision mechanism, but the, but it's not absolute. But still, I suppose the very idea of building, uh, the very practice of building stuff sometimes can be kind of dicey. I can't find the quest, even though I completed it, I can't find it. So now that I've finished that part of it, um... What about shoots? Now, as I said, this is mechanical energy, and, um... you need to be able to move things around. Sort of like logistical transporters in mechanism, but not completely. You shoots, you drop stuff into to put them on assembly lines. Ah, but they're looking for brass funnels, which means they gotta f Find out how to make brass. And, oh yeah, you can use um, induction smelters. 
They're an alloy of copper and zinc. Which are right next to each other on the periodic table, if I remember correctly. Now, I picked up some zinc earlier. By accident. Um... Looks like the only way you can get more than one... Hold on a second, what if I used Silk Touch? No, even there, there there's really isn't anything you can do to improve your... your zinc yield. I need to do this, but... I don't think I'm going to be using zinc that much anyway. Oh yeah, and I get an encased fan out of that. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's to automate the, make that particular process, you know, instead of just flinging the um, lapis lazuli in, into, the, um, into the path of the soul flame manually like I was doing, I could, um, I could drop it down to shoot and get a much more controlled reaction. What was I up to? Oh yeah, funnels. We need more dried kelp for it. Oh god, there's a mod that uses kelp. I still have, have yet to see one that uses... Um, that, that uses amethyst. So that's two dried kelp. There's the uh, Let me go downstairs. I've got some electron tubes down there. exactly what the difference is. Oh yeah, and as I can only extract single items, brass can extract a full stack. It's... I think it's if you're trying to pull something from chests. And you want to do it in a systematic means. And tunnels apparently split items, and I guess it works the same way. Um, well, brass doesn't. A line can be formed along multiple parallel belts. How's that again? Oh, so you can sort of so you can filter items and route them apparently. And you can sort them by type. Yeah, so if I ever wanted to automate something... Problem is, it's not like I'm going to be using this forever. And you can... Ah! I see, you can put... It, a, gr a bunch of random items this way and have them come out in different positions. I can see that would be useful. Now let me grab another one of these electron tubes.
There we go. Just out of absolute curiosity. Okay, yeah, still stable. Of course, then again, if it was unstable, this place would be a smoking crater by now. It seems I'm out of andesite. I could use the um, the digital miner to dig it up. But andesite is just an ordinary rock. It doesn't really need anything too sophisticated. As long as you know where some is. I mean, I didn't use the digital miner to um, dig up the granite I used to make the walls I would close the reactor room in. Well, there's azure in this, this stuff. I, I have... No idea what it's actually used for. I suppose if I go far enough along in the mod, it might tell me. As long as I'm here, I'll take out this vein of zinc as well. In case I ever need any more brass. There's a depot. And depots, it seems, are where you put stuff if you're going to put something else on it. Um, I think if I ever make precision circuitry, uh, precision, precision devices, or whatever they're called, then I'll probably end up using some of these. Maybe if I took a conveyor belt and then connected a, a device that puts stuff on things. It all depends on how many precision mechanisms I have to make. Now a millstone, in addition to um, in addition to being a heavy thing that's hung around somebody's neck, uh, can grind, well, grain and ores. I think it can grind ores. When I last did this, it, it was able to, um, it was used to. But it didn't use the. It used the end. I didn't want to do that. I need that stuff. And then there's other things on the assembly line, like a mechanical press. Now, if I didn't have um, the mechanical press from thermal expansion I'd be using the one from create because it's used to make plates but if I have a better way to need to use plates I'll use it
a ruling mill. Now this I don't think I have. Or rather, I don't think I have a uh, version of it in in another mod. So I'm going to have to put... Um, I have to actually build a functioning one of these. Oh, and I don't have enough andesite. Well, no matter, I can just whip up some more. There we go. And since I'm eventually, I'm probably eventually going to need this thing for other create stuff, I can stick it on. Maybe I'll stick it on here. Let me just turn this thing. There we go, so that they're all facing out. Um, I don't know why I'd need one facing up. I guess I wanted to see what it looked like, but... Now that I know... And it looks like the input's this way. I think what I ought to do is grab a chute, one of these, and put it... Where does the rolling mill accept input from? Do I have to feed it on a uh, conveyor belt? I have no idea, so instead I'm going to put a chute here. And perhaps another one over here. And I suppose if one of those doesn't work, the other one at least ought to. Okay, let me just put all this put all this back. And this is a mechanical mixer. Now, if I want to, there, there are some things which really do um, need this. So, let's see. I'll need a whisk. Let's make another five of these. Wow, that must have been a really close lightning strike. There we go. And of course, I need a basin to mis mix this stuff in. Which is just a bunch of andesite alloy. Like that. Speaking of andesite alloy, I need more. 
Now it's thunderstorming out there, so I, I'd rather not go out in this weather and put the thing together. The spouts. I just need to dry some kelp. And put in a copper casing. There. I don't know whether I can feed a mixer with a spout, though. And apparently there wasn't really a reward for that. Ah, and the crushing I oh my. Not quite ready to use those yet. Instead, um... Since we're heading into some really complicated stuff now, um, the electric motor, oh, do I really have to, uh, use mechanical crafters? Okay, well there, I'm going to need quite a few of those. And it's one electron to one brass casing and a crafting table for each of them. And the biggest thing I'm going to have to build with those is um, are these crushing wheels where I need 21 of them. Which means I'll need seven electron tubes, but I already got one, so I need six. So I've got rose quartz, and I can use the enrichment chamber to make it into a block of rose quartz. Or, no, just a polished rose quartz, that's it. You need six iron sheets. To make, make six electron tubes. And then I'll need seven crafting tables. And seven brass casings. There we are. And as for the slot cover, well, you need nuggets for that, so... I don't know where else you're going to use brass nuggets. Um, attribute filters... Yeah, that appears to be it. I don't know if any of these quests call for attribute filters. There's only 11 of these. Okay, so let me put all this extraneous stuff away, and then, um...
Well, I suppose I ought to... The problem is I can't seem to hook this thing up because I can't seem to fill it. 